This is a 6 inch rock drill which uses a cycloidal drive I made in my last video. I'll use it to test the drilling mechanism of my upcoming micro tunnel boring machine project. These are the parts I recently received in the mail to turn my cycloidal drive gearbox into a rock drill. I've got all kinds of gearing and sprockets with chains, cycloidal drive of course, a motor that I found in a dumpster and got for free, saved 150 bucks on that, some plastic parts to test it out before I use metal, and some shafting and keyway, some bearings. Now let's hop into fusion. This is the design of my rock drill. I've made these parts so far, and I'll make the next set of parts in this video. In future videos, I'll make the drilling face, the dirt clearing mechanism, and the gear covers. The design is powered by one motor at the top. A shaft in the outer part of the gearbox is needed to fit a large gear through the middle of the gearbox. This gear creates a 4 to 1 reduction. The next set of gears has a 2.5 to 1 reduction to drive the auger, while power goes straight from the 4 to 1 shaft to the cycloid's drive shaft. The gears behind the cycloid offer a 2 to 1 reduction and the cycloid itself offers a 20 to 1 reduction. I will first 3D print the brackets for the gearbox. Once everything fits, I will machine them out of aluminum. I'll start this build off by adding the motor clamping plate. I'm machining the shafts from half inch keystock on the lathe. The gears in the system will be keyed with roll pins. This part will become the 4 to 1 reduced shaft. I'll progressively put the gearbox together to test the fit of all the parts. The second shaft is reassembled through the second plate along with the third shaft. I heated the auger to remove the temper on it so I could cut it. 
This wasn't necessary, as it turns out the auger was not made of hardened steel to begin with. Now that everything fits properly, I'll make the brackets out of aluminum. I modified the half inch plates so that it can all fit on the stock I have left over from the cycloidal drive project. This will make it so I don't have to spend any money. I'll use tape and super glue to hold the part down. The first operation is drilling. I use a quarter inch drill running at 10,000 RPM. Next, I'll rough out the holes with an adaptive toolpath. Contour brings the bearing holes to their final diameter. These eighth inch slots allow the motor clamps to move slightly. So it's now about a month later and I have not gotten to any work on machining coming down here. Get out of the way, well, so the basement is flooded, floors are gone, everything's everywhere and here's the CNC machine with the part from the last scene still on it. Let's get these parts finally finished. Smaller end mills are used in places the quarter inch end mill can't reach. I did most of the machining for this plate off camera. This jig lets me machine a bearing hole on the bottom side of the plate.
I'll machine two gears into this plate. They will go behind the cycloidal drive. The gears are designed with very large teeth so I can machine them easily. This part will be a hub for the small gear. The frame of my rock drill will be made of three steel bars. These tabs will be welded to the bars. holes are made oversized so that this can be moved around and adjusted and to account for uh, tolerances in welding which is a lot more imprecise than CNC machining. All my brackets need to be tapped to M8 screws. Tabs are bolted to the bearing plates so that they can be welded in place later. The cycloid drive shaft is measured and cut to size.
And there you have it, the finished cyclical drive rock drill. Thanks for watching.